This week on Tech Wrap, a date has been set. The iPhone 5 comes to the Philippines December 14th. Nokia announces the Lumia 620, a Windows 8 phone for the masses. Is a photo war brewing between Twitter and Instagram? And we take Smart and Globe LTE dongles on a head-to-head -head battle. Who came out the winner? Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and this is TechRap. Most of our tech stories this week come out from Le Web, happening in Paris, France this week. Le Web is Europe's largest annual tech conference, bringing together leaders, innovators, and entrepreneurs who all shape the future of the internet. Our first story this week, Nokia launches a low-end Windows 8 phone, the Lumia 620. Unsubsidized, the phone will retail for $249 or about 10,200 pesos. Expect the phone to be even cheaper or free when purchased under contract. For an entry-level phone, the specs aren't bad at all. The Lumia 620 is powered by a 1 GHz dual-core Snapdragon S4 processor and comes with 8 GB of onboard storage, expandable to an additional 64 GB via its micro SD card slot. On its back, a 5 megapixel camera that can shoot 720 video, and in front, a VGA camera. One cool feature of the 620 are its optional transparent snap on cases that can change color depending on the combination you choose. For example, if you have a yellow 620, snap on a blue case, and the phone turns lime green. Cool, ain't it? The phone should hit Philippine shores by January 2013. Instagram cuts the cord on Twitter. If you're the type of Twitter user who views tweets directly on Twitter.com, then you'll no longer be able to view Instagram photos without having to leave the page. Instagram's disabling of Twitter card support forces users to use Instagram web profiles, a service the mobile photo sharing service rolled out last month. Twitter cards give users a richer timeline viewing experience by expanding tweets to reveal previews of attached media, like links, videos, or in Instagram's case, photos. Instagram CEO Kevin Systrom, speaking at LeWeb, claims his company maintains a good relationship with Twitter, but says, quote, it's the correct thing for their business to do at this time. While the Philippines' tech elite have all found ways to source the iPhone 5 for themselves, everybody else has had to wait for the official launch of the device here in the Philippines. Well guys, the wait is finally over. This week, Apple announces the iPhone 5 will be available in 50 additional countries before the holidays, starting with South Korea on December 7th and the Philippines on December 14th. Smart and Globe are planning grand launch parties on December 13th, leading up to midnight of the 14th. Users can now pre-order the phones on their websites. Gifts made a comeback this year, so much so that Oxford American Dictionaries named it Word of the Year for 2012. Now, GIFs are similar to JPEGs in image file format, but one that allows you to store multiple frames in one file, creating an animated image. Now, the best examples of GIFs can be found at Tumblr.com, and I hear that the most popular GIF of 2012 was Nyan Cat, seen here on Rappler.com's Tumblr page. Now, while looking at GIFs is fun, so is creating them. And as always, there's an app for that. Take a look at our app of the week, Cinemagram. When you first launch the app, you get the option to explore popular Cinemagrams. And as you can see, there are tons of really fun posts already. You can also check out GIFs your friends have posted, or you can create and capture your own. It's pretty easy to do. First, click Capture. You have the option to shoot a video and then later trim it down, or just limit yourself to a two-second clip or you can upload a video from your library. Once you're done shooting, click Next. Now here's the tricky part. You have an option to paint a masking layer over the video. Now don't let that intimidate you. It's basically a way for you to paint over an area to isolate it. If you do, only that area is animated. In this example, I only want movement in the mirror so that users will see both of Stacy's hands while she's waving in the mirror. Once that's done, you can apply a filter. There are 18 filters to choose from. For this particular one, however, I'll choose London. Then click on the check mark. You have one more step before posting. Name the GIF, add tags if you want to, and then decide which social networks you want to share it to. Then click done. That's it. You'll find that GIFs look great when shared on Facebook, 
Twitter and Tumblr, but you can just post them to Cinemagram if you want to. It'll be available to your friends who have the iPhone app installed. Yes, it's iOS only for now. And via your Cinemagram account on the web. In August of 2012, both Smart and Globe had big launch events, trumpeting the arrival of LTE in the Philippines. But for months, whether or not these services worked as promised remained a mystery. Many users have been asking for a real head-to-head -head challenge. And so this week, TechRap steps up to the plate. Smart LTE is available in about 200 spots around Metro Manila, while Globe LTE is available only in Makati with about 50 sites set up all over the city. Both telcos employ completely different rollout strategies. Smart sets up fewer spots, but in more areas across five cities in Metro Manila, while Globe sets up a larger number of sites, but concentrated only in just one area. Since Globe LTE is only available in Makati, we picked out three areas in Makati's Central Business District for this head-to-head -head challenge. Greenbelt, Ayala Triangle, and Valero Street. Our test includes running a quick speed test via speedtest.net, downloading a file via FTP from my own server, downloading an MP3 from the iTunes Music Store, and loading an 8-minute video on YouTube. Globe scored better on all three speed tests. At Greenbelt, Globe averaged 35 megabits per second, while Smart averaged 4.72 Mbps. At Ayala Triangle, Globe averaged 32 Mbps, while Smart averaged 12.14 Mbps. And along Valero Street, Globe averaged 17.1 Mbps, while Smart registered 9.37 Mbps. It is important to note that during the speed test, Globe connected to Globe servers, while Smart connected to PLDT servers. While the difference between these speed test scores were big, our download tests showed hardly any difference between both services in terms of real-world performance. On Globe, loading an 8-minute Ask Margie video on YouTube in 360p quality took 7 minutes 22 seconds at Greenbelt, 7 and 8 seconds at Ayala Triangle, and 7.52 at Valero Street. On Smart, the same video took 7 minutes and 3 seconds to load at Greenbelt, 7.29 at Ayala Triangle, and 7.34 at Valero Street. Smart bested Globe at 2 out of 3 locations, but by hardly much. Downloading a 7.5 megabyte Bruno Mars track off the iTunes Store took between 3 minutes and 7 seconds to 3 minutes and 9 seconds on both Globe and Smart at all 3 locations. While downloading a 9.2 megabyte movie via FTP on Globe took 1 minute and 29 seconds at Greenbelt, 56 seconds at Ayala Triangle, and 1 minute 40 seconds along Valero. On Smart, the same file took 1 minute 3 seconds at Greenbelt, 50 seconds at Ayala Triangle, and 25 seconds at Valero Street. Smart performing better than Globe at all three locations, but again, not by very much. At our last stop along Valero, we did one extra test using Globe 3G. Surprisingly, the results weren't that far off compared to LTE. The Ask Margie video took 6 minutes 9 seconds, faster than LTE actually. The Bruno Mars MP3 took 3 minutes 15 seconds, and the FTP file download took 1.59. What does this tell us about LTE in the country? While the promise of a more robust infrastructure is undoubtable, we're still at the early stages of LTE rollout. The future is bright, but for now, expect growing pains. Head to head, Globe and Smart pretty much fare the same in Makati City. But overall, Smart gets the advantage for now because its coverage extends to several key cities in Metro Manila. For the full report on Smart LTE speed tests across Metro Manila, check out my Good LTE Hunting article on Rappler.com. And that was TechRap. We'd like to thank Greenbelt 5 here in Makati City for being our hosts for this week's show. For news and updates, follow Rappler.com on Twitter and Facebook. And if you have any tech questions or suggestions about what you like featured on the show, send me an email, techrap at Rappler.com or a message on Twitter using the hashtag TechRap. That's all for this week, folks. I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.